on the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive. Welcome to T-Mobile Park. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Mitch Haniger, he of course leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, the big righty, Logan Gilbert. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. So one out with two aboard. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. Rips one to right, and that's a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded, only one away. Man, Ziggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 100. Man at first with one gone, and now the first baseman, number 64. Number 64. <laughs> Line drive, base hit right field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Now so the lineup flips over, and now it's switch hitting third baseman Jonathan VR. One for two. Two outs. Swing and a little roller right side. He steps on the bag, gets him easily, ends the inning. Mariners are down in order as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. His seventh home run of the season, and they lead it. It's 3-2. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. Here's Taylor Trammell. Yo one. Popped up. You, you, you. And that is that. Nobody left for Seattle. They trail it 3 2. One out, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 64. Hey, let's go, big fella. In there, and it's 0 1. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch hey, out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The tying run at the plate. That smash towards center. Rodriguez settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two away. Man, that's so frustrating. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. And the final score here, 4-3 for Chris Singleton.
Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Tuesday baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you. Number 64 riding a power surge coming into this one, Chris. He's homered in four straight games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel up and do damage with. And really, that's the key for him. As long as he can get the bat to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set. Starting on the mound in this one, Mike Jones. And for some reason, he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and the fans are well aware of that. For him, he's got to just not press and go out there and say, hey, I'm just treating this like any start. Home, on the road, it doesn't matter. My job is to focus on that catcher's mitt, attack nice hitters, and, and just try to move through a ball game. So if he can find that kind of focus, it doesn't matter where he's pitching because... He Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they grab the lead. It's 2 nothing. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Here's Taylor Trammell. Plays it first here. On the ground, right side. They get the force. That ends the frame. Mariners leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. Here's Jesse Winker. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. No left here. Let's go over it for love. Let's take it deep in the Next pitch has popped up. And Winker is set down. And the inning is over. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. They trail it here, two nothing. Here we go. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Sam Haggerty up next for the Mariners. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mariners go down quietly there. They trail things here, 2-0. Back at T-Mobile Park, start of the fourth. Now here is number 64. Jones, back to work. That one is absolutely oh, belted. Get out. get out of here. Get out. And it's off the wall. Into second easily hey, with a leadoff double. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And stepping in for the Yankees, number 64. Hey, Chris, to baseball get today, to so up. many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Let's go, let's go, There's a go. swing and a drive. Up against the wall and makes the catch. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too. Base is empty one away. And up next for New York, number 64. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. 
Moore puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get... Sam Haggerty will hit next. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own, and that is the inning. Nobody left for Seattle. They trail it 6-1. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at ML. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Seattle Mariners. John Chambi and Chris Singleton on the call. Number 64. He's homeward in five straight games. So partner, some can't miss at bats coming our way from him. Yeah, and I find it interesting because watching him in batting practice, he was trying to keep the ball in the ballpark, hitting line drives the other way. So many times those home runs are mistakes, and I think he'd probably say half of the home runs he's hit lately have been mistakes because he's just trying to go gap to gap. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Luis Castillo. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one's gone. He sends it out of here. And the Yankees have the lead. It's 1-0. And that's his fifth straight game leaving the yard. And Boog, if he goes a game or two without hitting a home run, he's going to feel like he's going to get sit down to the minor leagues. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Bottom of the first. Here's the third baseman, Jonathan VR. The third baseman, Jonathan. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself. One gone, bottom half of the first. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A heart. And here's the first baseman, number 64. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting some. There's a swing and a drive. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the first baseman, Dylan Moore. And he grounds one to the right side. He handles it himself. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Good late bite on that slider. Got the Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues. And and there's a fly ball, here. deep right field. Got it! Bangs against the wall, but holds on. Runner tags and goes to third. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself. Digging in, number 64. Right Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. Vader runs. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Here comes Bader around third. He will score, and they lead by three. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but... 
Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.